I think your biggest um, piece of advice that I would I would give them is to really be committed to the business. So put in your time, um, you know, really get involved in your business, get involved in the community, um, you know, be that that person that people think of when when they think of um, you know your community. Be a people person, and be. Uh willing to be um, in the store a lot when you first get started especially. Um, you have to uh, enjoy the retail aspect of it and I think uh, the third thing for the plate again especially is you've got to be able to go out and hunt for the good quality used sporting goods. You know make sure you're willing to do the commitment. Um, a plate again sports store like I said it is you, it's your personality, your persona that comes through in your store so if you're not into it your employees are going to see that, your customers are going to see that, you're going to have a harder time um, succeeding. Um, I'm not saying you have to be there uh, 60 hours a week, uh, every week to make it succeed, um, but you have to be present, you have to work your store. You can enjoy the fruits of your labor, I and mean, there's no question about it. As long as you do it the right way and you get your systems in place, um, it's all about organization. When you're in business for yourself, uh, if you're putting your time and energy in, uh, early on, when you get into this business, you can, you know, you don't have to work a 50 to 60 hour work week. You got to be in it. You got to be hands on it. You got to love it. You got to, you got to be interested in sporting and in your neighborhood. If, if it's not a passion for you, then you could probably still do okay, but it's not going to be any fun and it's, you don't be successful. You know, as much effort as you want to put in is the effort, is what you get back out of it. I mean, I think it's like that with anything probably in life. I mean, you know, it's, there's no such thing as a free lunch. I mean, you, you know, you're going to work, but ultimately it's fun. Don't just be the store, store owner, but be part of everything that you, can, that you can within your community and within your store so that you're, uh, you're aware of everything that's going on. Windmark, other franchisees, I mean, there's, there's unlimited number of uh, resources out there for you to call, email, talk to, uh, to see what's working, what's not working. Um, but again, it's ultimately up to you to make the, the correct decisions. You'll get a lot of information. You just need to process it and make it work for your community because every story is different. It starts and ends with what you do. So you can, you can take it and do what you want to with it. And, and at the end of the day, you can go home and know that you did, did it for yourself. And you got nobody, nobody else to look at but you to say, you can't shove it off and say, ah, you know, I'll wait for somebody else to make that happen for me. You got to do it yourself. But that's the power in it, that's the beauty of it.